The morning after a traumatic night before, two people were pulled from the rubble, alive and conscious. The unidentified survivors had braved some 21 hours in the rubble, but any cries of jubilation were soon drowned out by the tears of people still unaware of the condition of their loved ones. This woman is waiting to hear from her brother, Bob Adewale Hosseini. She said he came to the building for a short visit before his flight returning to the US that evening. He never made it on board. In search of his brother-in-law named Samuel Iwelu, this man is pleading for help. This guy flew to Nigeria for a wedding on Saturday at Abuja. There he met the developer of this building at that wedding. And the developer invited him to come and see the project he's working on and asked him to visit him at the site before going back to UK or US. That was why he was here on Monday to see the developer and have a chat with him before leaving. Sirens blared, announcing the arrival of the Inspector General of Police who had flown in from Abuja. I asked if his presence as the most senior police officer in Nigeria meant he considered this a criminal matter. This is, this is a, there is going to be an investigation, but in, the investigation would encompass professional touch. In any investigation where expert opinion is needed, the police will incorporate an expert. If you are investigating a case of homicide, you need to bring a doctor. If you are investigating a case of rape, you need to bring a, a professional who will tell you there is this, there is this. So in such investigation, there is also going to be uh, involvement of professional uh, competence. In the interim, the Lagos State Governor has suspended Bolaon Oki, the General Manager of the Lagos State Building Control Agency, who's a qualified architect. And dispelling earlier allegations that the down building was only approved to be no higher than 15 storeys, the Lagos State Deputy Governor confirmed the building was allowed to be 21 storeys. The approval for this particular, as you can see, there are three buildings. So, so one, two, three. So this particular one was approved for 21 floors, it's not 15. Despite the confirmation of that approval, not everyone is satisfied with the quality of the building. Due to the negligence of who, you can't determine that now until when the investigation is done. But one thing is, let's address ourselves. It's not good to be penny wise and pound foolish. This result as penny wise and pound foolish to the developer, because you look at the signboard there which is a prerequisite to every construction site, where the name of the architect, the name of the consultant should be well spelt on that signage. But what do we see? Telephone numbers, telephone numbers. What's been going on on social media? This number belongs to the developer. In your so professional sad. opinion, is it that you believe or you tend to believe that what we're seeing there is an example of cutting costs at the expense of lives? Oh, yes. Definitely. A sobering reality for all still here. As the sun sets on yet another day of searching, the hopeful are trying their hardest not to become hopeless. Despite the number of survivors, the death toll continues growing into double digits. And amid allegations that cheaper and insufficient materials were used in the construction of this now down building, one could ask, how much is a life worth anyway if it could end so suddenly for so many? Adifemi Akinsanya, Arise News, Ikoyi, right here in Lagos.